Hello and welcome to this series of meditations called In Jars of Clay Embodied Prayer in a Time of Crisis I'm Rachel Michael and as part of the leadership team here at St John's and St Mary's Isleworth I have some involvement in the prayer activities of our parish. One of the things I most love doing is introducing people to interior silent prayer. The kind of prayer that focuses on discovering God's presence within the depths of our being. Over the years, through the ups and downs of my life, and although it's not always easy, I often find a deep sense of nourishment and sustenance in this meditative form of prayer. I also teach body awareness and therapeutic movement and find that consciously involving my body can be helpful in enabling me to focus and engage in prayer with the whole of my being. Many of those that I work with seem to find the same especially those who say that they find prayer to be particularly difficult. When the UK lockdown began, I wanted to offer something that might help people to pray in the midst of this crisis. And I wanted it to be something that integrates body, mind and spirit within the Christian tradition. This is because I believe so strongly that listening to and working through the body with awareness is one of the keys to resilience, well-being and spiritual life. So, once again, welcome to this series of meditations. If you haven't already done so, I encourage you to listen to the previous video first, as it provides an introduction to the series and gives a context for the meditations. In this, the second video, I will lead you in an introductory meditation to help you to focus within and give attention to your breathing and awareness of your body in the context of silent prayer. The meditation will also include the use of imagery and a sacred word or phrase to help you to be attentive to God's presence. This is a practical session and I'll be guiding you step by step. I do hope that you'll join me. If you'd like to participate, by way of preparation, see if you can find a fairly upright chair you can sit in comfortably. Sitting upright helps us to remain alert and attentive, but it's also important to be comfortable so that you can relax. It's good to have your feet flat on the floor so that you feel connected with the ground and to have your lower back supported. You might want to use a small cushion for that purpose, perhaps. So I'll let you get ready now, and we'll begin shortly.
So how are you doing? I hope you've got yourself comfortable, sitting in a fairly upright chair, with your feet flat on the floor, letting your hands rest in your lap, with your arms and shoulders relaxed. And as we begin, if it feels okay for you, I suggest you close your eyes. This helps to eliminate distractions and to develop an internal focus. If you do prefer to keep your eyes open, let them rest on something low down, a short way distant from where you're sitting. If you have closed your eyes, it might seem strange and disorientating to begin with. If you enter a building or a cave after being outside in the bright light of day, you might find that at first you can hardly see anything at all. But after a while your eyes begin to adjust and you start to pick out some shapes and highlights. So now, give yourself time to get used to just sitting with your eyes closed and start to notice what you become aware of through your senses. what you can hear, what you can taste, what you can smell. Notice also what you're aware of through the sense of touch. Perhaps you can feel the pressure of your body in the chair. The contact of your feet with the floor. body parts resting on each other. Perhaps even the sense of your clothes against your skin. See if you're aware of any feeling or emotion. Simply letting it be there, along with all the other things that you have noticed. And now bring your attention to the flow of your breathing. In and out. In and out. And notice the parts of your body that move 
in response to the breath. Rising and falling. Filling and emptying. See if you can follow the path of the breath as it flows in through the nostrils, down through the windpipe, down into the chest and lungs, and expanding the belly in the deep centre of the body. Then follow the breath back out, allowing the belly to drop, the ribs to soften, and the chest also, as the air is expelled through the windpipe and the nostrils. Allow some time for finding your own rhythm, following the path of the breath, without forcing anything, but in a way that feels comfortable for you. If you find your mind wandering at any point, gently and kindly bring your attention back to the flow of the breath or the movement of your body. It's very common to find the mind wandering and it might happen quite a lot. Each time, without giving yourself a hard time in any way, gently and kindly Bring your focus back to the breath or the body. Now I invite you to imagine a silver cord or ribbon threading through the core of your being as you follow the pathway of the breath from the nostrils all the way down to the belly and back out again. A silver cord or ribbon threading through the core of your being. In contemplative prayer, a sacred word or phrase can be used to provide an anchor and express the intention of focusing on God's presence in the midst of silence and interior space. Sometimes the name Jesus can be used in this way, or a word such as peace, love or joy. See if there's a word or phrase that comes to mind for you now. Something that you can repeat in a rhythmic way as you breathe. As you follow the in-breath, 
let the sacred word arise and be spoken within your heart. And the same on the out-breath. On the in-breath, you might focus on inviting or receiving God's presence into your own life. On the out-breath, you might focus on invoking God's presence for others. We will bring the meditation to a close shortly, so pause the recording if you would like more time. If you are ready to finish, notice how you feel now. Is there anything that you would like to remember? or take with you from this meditation time. You might allow for a moment of gratitude for any sense of presence or consolation that you have received. Then slowly open your eyes and gently bring yourself back to the space around you. You might take a moment to bring some movement to your fingers and toes, give yourself a rub down or have a stretch to help you to connect again with the world around you. And feel free to close the meditation time in whatever way feels right for you. Some people find it helpful to finish with a short spoken prayer, perhaps the Lord's Prayer, or, as another example, this brief prayer of conclusion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. That brings us to the end of this session. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been wonderful to connect with you. Feel free to leave a comment, or you can reach me by email at rachelmichael at stjohnsisleworth.org.uk The email address can be found in the description box below. In the next video, I'll be guiding you through a meditation called Praying Through Anxiety. I do hope that you'll want to join me again. In the meantime, goodbye for now.